Hey, what is going on guys? It's me, Quinkin, and welcome back to episode number 4 of my Atletico Madrid career mode series. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. I'm enjoying making these for you guys. So remember to leave a like and a comment down below. Leave a favor and subscribe if you're new. But you guys didn't get a chance to see how the league table was looking. So this is how it's looking. We're in second place right behind Malaga. We have four points and we have played one more game than every other team. So hopefully we remain in this second place spot. But it is time to look at our schedule and we're going to be facing a bar in the league. But after that we are going to have the transfer deadline day and it will give us an opportunity to sign more players but I was thinking of simming the match versus Abar but it's early in the season I want to get as much points as I can so we're going to be playing the game versus Abar and then we are going to be facing Sporting in the Champions League our group is so freaking hard you guys are going to see that I'm not joking our group is freaking hard but we're going to get into this game versus Abar and I decided to put Antoine Griezmann in today's game. So hopefully Antoine Griezmann does play well today. But Abar were a very good side defensively. They get a good opportunity here. But it wasn't such a clear chance. Verratti with a pace. He centers it in. And the goalie comes out. We get another opportunity. But this play pretty much sums up everything. Abar were such a strict side with their defense. And I felt that we weren't attacking as much. So I changed it to a 4-4-2 with two center mids instead of two center defensive mids and a bar were still good defensively and we were good defensively too but we weren't attacking as much and Moya was so good in the goalkeeping position and it was time to take out Griezmann and put in Oliver Torres because Griezmann I don't want him to get injured so I took him out changed the formation to a 4-3-3 and this formation was the tactic that completely changed the game we started getting more opportunities and this was the opportunity that I was looking for throughout the whole game go get to Gabi and Gabi smashes it into the back of the net and he gives us the lead in the last couple of minutes we are winning 1-0 and we do get another chance here Raul Garcia with the dribbling I don't know how he did that he's on a streak he's playing so good Mandzukic with the shot the save Oliver Torres shoots it straight at the goalkeeper and that is how the game ends we win 1-0 very suspenseful ending and we get the three points and after that win, it was time for the transfer deadline day. So I was looking to loan some young players into my squad. So I went for Anthony Marshall and Yasin Benzia. Two very good strikers that are very young. And I would want both of them in my club. We also went for Zachary Bacali, who is actually playing for Levante now. So another great player in La Liga. Matthias Ginter, another great center back. And Maximilian Meyer from Schalke. A good camp to get. And I advanced to see which clubs would accept the loan offer so Schalke don't accept their offer Dortmund reject their offer Olympique Lyon and AS Monaco accept the loan offers uh, so I'm gonna get a striker in my team and Schalke do reject the loan offer so I am going to get a striker in my team and I was thinking long and hard about this one and I went for Anthony Marshall yes I went for Anthony Marshall and I'll tell you guys why the reason I went with him is because I would want both strikers in my team they're both very good but Anthony Marshall I looked his stats up and this guy is so insane he has insane pace good shooting and I would rather want him instead of Benzia of course I could get both they're very cheap but I would only use one striker I would use Marshall so much more than Benzia so I just rejected the offer for Yassim Benzia and before the transfer deadline day did end I was looking at some of the top deals in the transfer window and El Kun Aguero actually went to Real Madrid for a hundred and one 0.5 million dollars so Real Madrid bumped up the hell out of their squad they sold Luka Modric to Manchester City and Salvatore Sirigu left to Juventus for 44 million but Luka Modric going to Manchester City is actually a very good signing for them but I decided to see some of the stats that Anthony Marshall had and overall he is a decent striker to use. I could use him for my Copa del Rey games. So I'm very excited to use this guy. He has good pace, good dribbling, a decent shot, 4-star weak foot, and 3-star skill moves. And we do have good news. Arda Turan is clear to play now. So he is back in form. He is back in shape. And he is going to be back into our squad. I really missed him. He is such a great left mid. And I'm telling you guys, this guy, he is the base of our midfield. He is so good. And with this formation that I'm going to put him in now, 
he is going to be so insane. So we left Moya in goal. We left the same defensive line, but we have a 4-3-3 that we used versus Abar. We're going to have Turan, Mandzukic, and Serchi up front. Vedati and Gabi in the center mid position. Koke as a cam. And overall, this squad with the 4-3-3, hopefully it does do well because it actually is looking pretty well right now. But we are going to go in depth with our instructions to our players. I want Alexander to support Turan on the wings and Verratti when he attacks I want him to stay back but if you guys do want to pause and see what I instructed my players to do you guys could pause it right now it's actually going pretty fast so this is something that is really cool in FIFA 15 you can give your players instructions so instead of giving them work rates like high medium you can give them detailed instructions for what you want them to do so hopefully these instructions do fit my club and we're gonna get into this game versus Sporting Lisbon so hopefully these instructions and this formation actually do work out in today's game but here we go it is time to play in the Champions League and our group isn't easy as you guys think we're gonna start things off facing Sporting of Lisbon but look at our group it is Atletico Madrid Bayer Leverkusen, Sporting Lisbon, and Roma. This group is the group of death, and we're going to have to really play very well versus these teams. But here we go, a center to Arda Turan, and it goes straight to the goalkeeper. But I'm surprised that Arda Turan actually got a header to that, and Sporting Lisbon were on the attack. There's a center, they pass it off, and I don't know what is going on. This was considered a known goal. Three players went in for the ball, and the ball ends up in the back of the net. But as soon as that happened, we reacted. Goke shoots it. Serchi's there for the rebound. And Serchi is on a freaking roll. He ties the game 1-1 in the 20th minute. Thank you, Serchi. He makes it 1-1 after that disastrous own goal. He put us back in the game and we tied 1-1. But Sporting, we're not going to give up. They get another good opportunity. Moya with the great save. And here's a pass from Freddy Montero. There's a shot, but it just goes over the bar. Sporting were such a great side. They get another opportunity in the second half, but it went wide and it was our turn to attack. A beautiful job from Alessio Serchi. And there's a dribbling. We pass it off to Mario Mandzukic. What does Mandzukic do? He loses the ball. You gotta be freaking kidding me. He, he was it was one-on-one -on -one with the defender and he lost it and as soon as I saw that I took him out of the game and I put in Antoine Griezmann I'm getting tired of Mario Mandzukic and things were getting a little tighter after we put in Antoine Griezmann we get another opportunity but it was time to put in some more players to play in I don't like the way we were playing Sporting were getting too many damn opportunities so we put in Raul Garcia and Mario Suarez but in the end Sporting were the ones with the last opportunity and Moya saves it. He throws it out and the ref blows the whistle. We do draw the game versus Sporting Lisbon and I thought we were going to dominate this game but they did show that they were a very good side and a team to be reckoned with in this Champions League. But this is how the group is looking. Everyone drawed in our group so we are still in first place. Thank God everyone tied in their games. So that is how we are looking in the Champions League. Now we move on to the league and we are actually in third place. We went from second place to third place and Valencia is in first. We have seven points and we're right behind Celta de Vigo. So we're in third place and overall we're doing pretty well in the league. But now I have a question for you guys for this episode. This is the question of the day. Should I put Mario Mandzukic to play in the next game? Please leave your comment down below. He played so horrible versus Sporting Lisbon. So that is the question of the day. Should I put Mario Mandzukic to play in the next game? It's going to be versus Celta de Vigo who are in second place. So leave your answer down below. I'm going to read all the comments. But that is pretty much it. Remember to leave a like, favorite, and comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy my content. I'm Quinkin and I'll see you guys next time.